Hello, it's Mr. Intermarket Analysis bringing you the currency pair Euro USD uh, for Friday's trading. Uh, obviously, uh, November 2013. I'll just elaborate on what happened today. Obviously, give it, with it being uh, Thursday, uh, the 7th of November, with regards to Mr. Draghi's ECB rate cut. He obviously spooked the market, so he surprised everybody, uh, given the fact that he's a firm believer of, of anchoring expectations and uh, getting the market prepped and ready for it. Uh, obviously, the very conventional old wisdom style of uh, banking central banking so uh, he obviously took out mr bernanke's uh, chapter of shock or no and uh, he certainly uh, drastically uh, changed expectations okay so that certainly occurred and uh, as we know the euro absolutely collapsed and got clobbered okay so basically that's what happened there uh, the fact that you've got uh, concern but obviously deflationary concerns in the eurozone you've got weak economic data and the fact that all central banks around the world are trying to cut their, uh, either do QE, adopt QE, or cut interest rates, and obviously the ECB has been very um, anti QE, very anti interest rate cutting, etc. Especially when talk of negative interest rates, uh, they threw that out the uh, they threw that out the window. Okay, so um, that was a shock. That was a surprise. Okay, so the fact that they've raised, they've cut interest rates. And uh, adding the fact that the LTRO wasn't talked about either, uh, which again was a concern, and that's what eventually uh, caused the equity markets to sell off. Okay, now tomorrow is obviously a game changer. Economic data around the US, if the job data is better than expected, obviously uh, the US dollar will increase, therefore the euro will suffer. Um, uh, obviously, uh, well, same again, I mean, it suffered today, it'll probably suffer again tomorrow if the economic data is better than expected, which means that. Uh, there will be uh, there will be uh, no no more QE, okay. But if the weak economic data is weak and uh, the argument for QE is still there, then uh, obviously uh, the dollar will fall and the euro will appreciate. And uh, it will be uh, quite funny if uh, Mr. Draghi's interest rate cut is neutralised. It's already been neutralised by 50%, which I'll discuss in a second based on technicals. And if the fact that uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why he did cut the interest rates because he did he does expect a weak economic number out of the eurozone out of the uh, out of the uh, US, and he realised the fact that the weak economic data out, coming out tomorrow would justify the Yanks doing QE till 2014 or 2015, which will ultimately destroy the dollar, therefore uh, cause the Euro European currency to appreciate. That's why he he cut interest rates in advance, which when nobody expected because he wanted to create a buffer and a, and a cushion so the euro wouldn't go above 1.4 okay so just bear that in mind okay bear that in mind okay so let's go back to our charts okay so uh, technicals uh, obviously we do have addressed the fundamentals now we're going to discuss the uh, the technical so uh, let's go to a weekly chart okay so weekly chart 200 ma support okay uh, and obviously that held okay we've broken this channel but from my perspective now, I think this channel really needs to go, given the fact that we've broken it. So let's get rid of that channel there. Okay. Uh, so from our perspective, 200 MA, 200 MA, 1.33 level will be a solid, solid support level. Okay. Uh, going forward. Okay. So keep, certainly keep an eye on that uh, with regards to uh, technicals and uh, the fact that you have um, the thesis of previous resistance equals support as well around this region here. Okay. So about here okay so keep an eye on that okay as well so 1.33 level on the two on the weekly chart is a key level giving the fact that it's 200 ma and previous uh, resistance equals support now the daily chart is very interesting this market went exactly to the gap and that gap was the one that was created on the sunday night to monday um obviously given that was around the september the 13th i can't remember what the catalyst was at the time but that gap, they were honing in for that gap, and that's exactly where the market hit the wick, and then obviously reverse. Okay, so that's something that's very, very interesting. Um, now, although we do have a HS formation here, the HS target on this formation is calculated around the 1.3050 level. Now, we do need more. Uh, the only way you're going to hit 1.3050, right, based on fundamentals, is if the Yanks do tapering, number one. So obviously the fact that the economic data comes out stronger than expected with regards to jobs uh, data tomorrow will be a pivotal factor and very important factor tomorrow uh, and that will obviously help propel the dollar higher and obviously cause the euro to depreciate further. Adding the fact that you have further weak economic data coming out of the eurozone and deflationary phase and Mr Draghi coming back in 
with his shock and awe and cutting the interest rate again which he has obviously opened up and he has discussed that now and going forward obviously we will be looking to cut interest rates etc etc so they've got an easy monetary policy they expect lower rates in order to sustain their economy and especially if everybody's playing the QE game and the uh, anti-interest rate obviously lower interest rate game in the world everyone, everybody wants to um, adhere to currency debauchery then um, obviously the Eurozone can't sit back and allow their uh, co uh, country to suffer especially the periphery and now that the core is suffering such as Germany given the weak uh, German production data today uh, they certainly can't sit back okay so it's about time they fire their bazooka okay even though one CNBC contributor did state that he was firing a it's like tantamount to firing a pea shoot uh, shooting a pea from a pod uh, a pea shooter so again disrespectful from my perspective but anyway regardless technically uh, it's very interesting how we close that gap so based on that thesis if we have closed that gap then more than likely given the fact that the funds will flow into eurozone they already have because the Chinese have been buying a lot of European equities and the fact that if you do get more funds flowing in now the fact that they started to cut the interest rates and they want to invest more money into the European economies then the euro will catch a bit as well so it's interesting now if the fact that the uh, the US debt ceiling cro crops up again and going into January which is not far off now and that they start to kick their can down the road or they have their own concerns there again you know US dollar uh, reserve status is under threat uh, the gold price what's interesting right now is if you look at the um, chart of gold which is I find very very interesting at present look at a chart of gold you want an inverted head and shoulders pattern so what is that telling you that is either telling you that the Europeans uh, adhere to some form of QE okay or the Yanks continue with QE that's another, another scenario or the US debt ceiling creates such a, a geopolitical uh, 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 chaos or concern the global stage that it loses its reserve status thereby causing the gold price to go higher thereby causing causing euro I remember uh, even Sterling, even Aussie to catch a bid as a safe haven because uh, technically it's losing its appeal or the yen are catching a bid and not giving the unwinding of the carry trade uh, or even in the, the CHF okay uh, Swiss so it's interesting times okay very very interesting times so we'll see exactly what transpires there but keep an eye on the IHS formation the gold chart looking for a potential target around the 1420 level so what is telling you now that there's going to be either socio-economic concern or geopolitical concerns which will cause uh, chaos in the markets okay so that's something that we need certainly to keep an eye on for an eye out for uh, even, even given the fact that you have deflationary concerns which is anti-gold gold is still holding up well okay so there's definitely something brewing in the background and that's something that we need to stay alert on and on top of as well okay so going back to our euro usd we've closed that gap that will certainly act as support for now um, and also we created a potential bottoming tail on this chart as well so that certainly needs to be respected okay now a four hour chart okay four hour chart obviously we've got a bear flag formation we have been consolidating within so certainly doesn't uh, uh, bode well uh, in terms of that obviously the neckline of this HNS here on the four hour chart is around the 1.3470 level provided we remain below there we remain bearish if we go above that obviously we short squeeze higher back to 1.35 and obviously uh, the US jobs data will dictate which direction that goes tomorrow so expect uh, more volatility more kangaroo price action okay uh, again our uh, 60, we've got 60 minute chart here at the moment so 60 minute chart obviously we have this uh, potential channel okay so you've had this channel here and this channel here okay so we obviously broke it to the downside we did try to come back up to it by 1.3450 level previous uh, support act was a resistance and that's exactly what we're seeing now so obviously ADP or uh, economic jobs data tomorrow will dictate either direction either 1.3550 in the upside neutralizing all of Draghi's move or we go lower uh, if the economic data comes better than expected which means no more QE etc etc and obviously the euro will suffer because the euro USD is the one that's heavily traded okay interesting times ahead folks okay so that's your uh, potential game plan obviously uh, that's, well, that's my game plan anyway going into tomorrow uh, and at the moment obviously we're stalling on the 10 minute chart here but you can see there's quite a substantial sell off from 1.3550 level but we have regained almost 50% or more of that sell off so uh, I'm not sure how effective Mr Draghi's shock and awe is but it is what it is okay as traders that's basically what we're observing 
and trading on a daily day and day to day basis okay so okay folks so uh, certainly uh, keep an eye on that okay uh, remember that 1.33 level where we'll, the gap was filled it will act as solid support I find it very hard for us to penetrate that even with tomorrow's data very very hard okay remember folks risk on risk off wax on wax off goodbye now